looks like you see on your bike is one hole. Right there. Yeah, there's two holes there. Sure is. Yeah, they're both open. It's a little high, uh, Brian. Like I said, the pressure's a little high, but, man, if it's running good, let's check another one. Well, part of the, the question is, we don't know what the pressure should be. Yeah, it should be 3,200. Oh, how do you know? Well, I went and looked. I have a book up there. Oh. Oh, yeah, when I told you it should have been 3,000 to 3,200 or 225 bar, that's what it should hit at. Oh, huh. Let's see. What What's your reference book? Is it, oh, is it like a Bosch or a... Oh, yeah, it's American Bosch. Okay. Yeah. Because I think United Technologies is owned by Bosch. It, it was American Bosch, and then United Technologies bought American Bosch, and then AMBAC bought United Technologies, and then Standard I bought AMBAC. So, oh, boy. Yeah. It's never as simple as you think. No. Now this one's not misting. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. I got it. The bolts are so close together, if you do it quick, you can see a little gap in there. Oh, yeah. Let's huh. do this. So far, a little high on pressure, but I. That one you can do two, two holes. Yeah. Where the other one I just thought it was one hole just kind of fanned out. But... Yeah, interesting. That 250 bar is a little high, but that's probably where I would set them. No, you went. See, we're not leaking off. We're not dripping here. That means that needle valve. Yeah. Uh, so what do you mean when you say that's where I would set them? Well, it calls for 225 bar, and they're about 240 to 250 so far. Oh, valve. okay. But that needle valve, that seat right there is holding there. So we're putting 250 bar to that little hole right there. Right. And then it comes down and it picks this this needle valve off its seat. Right. So once it starts to atomize, the pressure drops a little bit. The the, the springs and everything in it jam that seat that needle valve back on its seat. Right. That's not come we're hearing that we're hearing that the jab popping. Yeah. yeah. So huh. that's. Uh, but yeah, that one looks good. But it's a little different than the others. Yeah, it's a little more fanned out, but I don't know. I think that's. Uh, I I think one. As good as we do, I think I'd probably just use them over. Yeah. Uh, as far as what, what we've seen so far. Because uh, one, the, probably the tips are obsolete. If, if we could find them, it'd be, it might be a challenge. Yeah. Um, and that one was number four. Which one's next is right. Uh, it doesn't matter what order they're in or anything, okay, really. I didn't know if you had some. Um, uh... Yeah, it does. 
about to say, let me try one thing here, man. Let me see if I can. Our pressure's going to come up, but it's not, it's not even doing 60 bars. So the tips, that part, that needle valve is stuck in there. Right. So that's a, that's a done. Yeah, you You're can gonna, see that's oh yeah, it's totally a, different than the other. Oh yeah, it's not doing anything. Okay, so let's. Well, maybe my friend got sold a set of bum injectors. I think he did. Or they might be good. They've just been sat and, you know, they've uh, varnished and. Do you have like a, a jig that you run like a cleaner through or something yeah, like that? Yeah, we have a, they're all back there in the cleaner room back there. We have solvent tanks. And it's well, the reason he bought them is to have a spare set that were, you know, known good that if he ever had trouble, he could swap in. It only takes like 10 minutes to swap yeah, these things. Yeah, piece of cake. So these are even completely different. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they're just, yeah, they're not doing what they should be doing. The needle valve, the needle valve sticking in the thing. Pushers are close, but you see the two holes on that one? You yeah. See that one come off on the side there? Yeah. This very and, and the little one just does a little squirt, and the other one does a solid stream work. A little bit there. You got it close. I like your your first set better. Yeah, they're, it's not doing something's wrong. But that would just be it. You got an extra set with the truck? Oh no, one of my friends has um, a truck and um, he found this set of injectors that somebody mm -hmm. was selling saying they were from a, a running good engine mm -hmm. um, and he bought them like I said to have a spare set just in case. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, these aren't doing near as good as your other ones. What do you think? Uh, do you think that maybe running them and cleaning them up might help them? Oh yeah, we could. You know, you're, you're, we get about twenty-four dollars each. Lap them, shim them, set them, give you some new coppers, and about one forty-four for the set. Yeah, that's much more fanned out. Yeah. So this is your one. That just means that that goes. This one's got probably four or five holes on it, but the holes get elongated. They get bigger from years of just jamming fuel through them. They they start to, you know, they just get out of round. Yeah, out of round is really what it is. They're just, huh. but it's hitting. It's holding. Its pressures are close, but they're not doing what those other ones are doing. Yeah. It's not too bad though. I think they're probably just a little more warm than that first set. 